Good morning. Welcome to Trans West, Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Dean Jones, and today I have the pleasure to show you a really nice trade we just got. We sold it the first time, we just got it back. It's a really nice new air, uh, Newmar 3545, and stock number is 5U240357 for reference. Um, the thing about the Newmar, we'll just talk about a little bit. Uh, it's a luxury coach in a small package with a big motor. So 450, 89 Cummins back there, 1250 pound feet of torque. Uh, all the goodies, as you can see, we have window awnings, straight arm window Gerard awnings. We got the two awnings up top. They're on wind sensors. They might come in, it's a little breezy today. Lit all the way around. It's the Sparta paint package. Very nice grays, nice sage green, black and a white color. We do have the stainless steel step cover kit. We also have a special opted uh, solid surface countertop package in there that's one, one off. It's not standard, it's an option that we uh, designed when we ordered the coach originally. But again, it's a uh, New Air 3545. And we'll just go ahead and get started and show this thing to you because it's absolutely gorgeous. It does have 19,000 miles on it. People owned it. Really took good care of it. I know him personally, I sold it, like I said, I sold it the first time. But we do have some nice storage right here. It actually went to Newmar and uh, got some work done on it. So it's just been babied. We do have a nice storage there. Like all Newmars, we do have a insulated floor for the basement. It's gonna keep your ride quieter. Keep everything in there a lot, lot warmer and or a lot colder, whatever you want to do. Uh-oh, did this get locked? Give me a second. It's kind of weird. Oh, that's weird. Anyways, we'll go to the next one. Must have slammed that. It was open a minute ago. That is a double door with slide out trays in there. So, you know, I'll have to get that latch looked at. Do have central back in there. There's your components on there. Got some Gerard awning relays. And all these are carpeted and lit. Sitting on Michelin's all the way around. Great tires. Oh, real quick. Do have a Nice Samsung Smart TV with the Bose soundbar. Can't Bluetooth into that guy. Great for tailgating. Another thing you're going to notice when we get inside is these big, beautiful windows, and they do wrap around the slides. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But yeah, just a gorgeous coach. Another storage here. And this is your batteries for your motor. You do have a shut off right there. Solenoid there and you have your def tank or your particulate filter down there. You'll notice it does have a washer and dryer and it is vented. Back here is that 8.9 Cummins. Again, 450 horse. This is the same motor that powers the 44 foot Dutch Star. So this has actually absolutely just plenty of power to get up over the hills. Um, here's your Oasis Glycol Reservoir. I'll show you what that what is a little bit later. All your fluids are really easy to get to. Get your air, your air filter there. But again, just plenty of motor for this little guy. You'll notice there's cameras all the way around this. It does have a 360 camera on it. Uh, we do have our trailer hitch, our seven-way, and this is already outfitted for, for an Air Force One here. They pulled a nice little Jeep with this guy, no problem. The old owners. It is a side radiated coach. Again, this is a, this is a kind of a miniature King Air, if you will. And you'll see when we get inside some of the nice features and everything that it has in it. There's our depth tank, 12 gallons. <laughs> this is a good shot of the the paint on the, this coach, again, it's a Sparta exterior, Sparta interior. Nice lit Gerard awnings on the windows, and here's your wet bay. 
What pay? Again, real high end. We do have the our hose for filling. We do have a SantaCon. That's going to pump the waste out. It's a lot easier to use than say your your black your gravity uh, gate valves. But stainless steel outdoor shower. You have tank levels here. You can check on this the screen. We also have a water filtration system on this guy. That's going to keep your whole water system from calcifying and give you great drinking water. Low point drains. This is your tank fill. We got a black tank rinse and a gray tank rinse on this guy. So an extra rinse on there. There's your SantaCon on and off. Just a real simple, real well put together wet bay there. Here's the Oasis. So the Oasis is a glycol loop. It's gonna heat your coach, it's gonna heat your water. So, uh, and that's where you put that reservoir in the back, the, the, the green stuff I showed you. We also have a 50 amp cord on a power reel and that switch is right there. So real easy to get to and that's your back. That's where you're gonna empty your, your house vacuum system bags. If you have part cable, you can plug it in right there and that's gonna feed cable to your TVs inside and the outside TV. You, this is the other side of that bay I couldn't get open, so we could definitely look at it. It's got a tray there and an empty side there, and it opens up both ways on the other side. So you got a shot of that. Some more of your relays, your inverter. This is your battery bank, AGMs. You got eight of them in there, and they are on a tray. You can pull these pins, slide this out, service your batteries. No water needed on these guys, and they're not gonna corrode. They're AGMs, really nice battery. This is your tank fill on this side, both sides. It's a 90 gallon fuel tank on this coach. And we have our electronics for the chassis side. And we have our generator compartment. You'll see this has 68 whole hours. Wasn't run a whole lot. Uh, this coach is supplied with hot water to clean your windshield. It also has an air chuck if you want to fill up tires. This is a filter for your Oasis to keep, because you do have a diesel burner on that Oasis and you, it filters the fuel on that. It's a good looking smaller profile coach. So the coach is 35 foot, 10 inches long. It's eight and a half foot wide, but it's 12 three tall. Uh, the bigger coaches are closer to 13 foot tall, so this has got a smaller profile. Um, and it's, but you still get some extra headroom. We'll show you inside and I'll show you how they get there. We'll go in and look at it now. So again, Sparta inside the core and Sparta outside and the cabinets here, they're, they're suede mink rift color and they're oak. You'll see they're really matte finished, but they call it suede. If you like your coach is lighter, it's a smaller coach. So this, this light makes it look a lot more airy. I have the slides in right now and you can kind of see, I have plenty of room to get to my mid bath, to my refrigerator. If I want to microwave something, and do that too. And I'll go ahead and open these slides up. Let's start back here. So we've got plenty of headroom in here and the reason we, we get that on a shorter profile coach is this doesn't have the typical crawl space seven inch uh, insulated Thing under the subfloor. So what this has is two pieces of subfloor with a barrier inside. Really great R value, but it gives you a little more headroom in this smaller coach. So Newmar is a company that listens to their customers. The people coming out of the nice Essexes, King Airs, they just wanted to downsize, get something a little smaller, a little more manageable on their last coach. So they built a 33 foot, a 35 foot. The 33 foot didn't sell as well, so they just stayed with the 35 foot. We've done real well with New Airs here. 
really nice coach. It's great for if it's your first coach. Great if it's your last coach. But it opens up opposing slides. It's a three slide coach. Hydraulic slides, so they're gonna work for you when you need them to. And you'll see this one on the right is gonna come out and drop down. So as you're opening and closing, be careful the little ones and the pets not to get. Yeah, it falls down there. One thing I want you to get a look at is these windows. They wrap around the slide, just plenty of light. And that's a lot like your King Airs are gonna have. So when I say it's a little King Air-like, it's, it's very much like one. And these guys have the, the Ottomans that act as storage, or you can turn this around and act, make them a table. We'll just kind of go in the back and go from there. I'll also, one thing else to point out, these shades are all power. Now they're coming down, so. Look at all that light you get with this. And it, those, those windows wrap around on both sides of the awning. We'll start back here and work our way forward. This is supplied with a king bed. There's your leaves for your table. It is on a bed lift. And you'll notice there's two chairs here. Inside this closet, plenty of hanging space. You do have a safe. Shoe boxes. And there's your power right there, your breaker and some of your fuses. We do have all our manuals right there. Beautiful design on these doors and you do have a lock, so that's not gonna go back and forth when you're going down the road. Talked about the dryer being vented outside earlier. Uh, this is your Splendid stackable. It's gonna work just like a 110 apartment stackable. It's gonna get your laundry done, no problem. And over here, we have nightstands on both. Get a look at this little pass through here. Back behind there is an outlet. You can run your cables through there and put your phones up here when you're charging at night. We've also added, the previous owners had a mattress, that, their own mattress. They put it in here, pulled it out. We put a, a sleep number in here. So it's not on the build sheet, but this does have a sleep number. So you can make that side firm, the side soft, or vice versa. We do have ports through here if you do sleep with a CPAP machine. Gorgeous window over your headboard. Plenty of light in there. We also have, I don't know if you can get a shot of this 110 outlet right here. If you need to power that CPAP. Again, all your window shades, you have day and night shades, They're all, they all run through the KIB Firefly little panels there. This bed's set pretty soft right now. It's hard to get in and out of it. Um, great storage here. That's where you're going to put your satellite receivers, your DVD players, what have you. Beautiful TV. More storage there. Someone left a battery here. And we have our drawers. Six really deep drawers on ball bearing glides. And this is the solid surface countertop that we opted kind of custom. We do have a LED light we got to, we've got to put back up. It's a backlight for the TV. And more drawers there. And as you get a shot of these drawers, you can also get a shot of the tile. It's, it's a matte gray. Real easy to keep clean. It's also got floor heat on it. So there's a wire going through the floor here that's gonna get silent heat. Um, even when it's hot out and you want your ACs running, it's not bad to have it on low to keep that tile nice and warm when you're walking on. Uh, 
great system and it's not doesn't have the water going through it it's not a high maintenance floor heat real simple and you have intervals you have low medium and high so it's just going to turn it on and off a little more frequently on the low end keep it on a little bit more on the high end so great system really easy to use and you'll get a, a shot of this ceiling the bedroom has a vaulted ceiling much like the dutch star 4369's bathroom the whole back gives you that airy feel especially with the smaller profile coach so as we come in here, we'll show you the bathroom. One of the nicest showers I've seen on a smaller coach yet. I'm 6'1", plenty of uh, headroom in here. Great waterfall shower with a wand. It is winterized right now. You've got a teak seat that can come in and get out of the way, but you also have these nice stone shower pan. It kind of massages your feet when you're standing in it. We have our containers for our, our soap and our conditioner, our shampoo which really is a nice thing to have because the stuff's not rolling around here when you're when you're going down the road we have our Numar egress door opens up in the case of an emergency just pop this open that ladder falls down you just walk right out of here this also just pops off like a cabinet so if you really need to get moving get some people out of the coach you've got that too Got some storage here. We also have a really nice mirror, mirror light here, as you can see coming on, accent lights, vanity lights, plenty of lights in this little bathroom, beautiful backsplash, nice undermount vessel sink, brush nickel hardware in here. We've got a GFCI for your curling irons and your your uh, hair dryers. Now these little vents you're gonna see all over the coach are kind of hidden in plain sight and that's gonna be your radiators for your Oasis heat. It's gonna be uh, another real quiet heat. We have a Samsung residential refrigerator. Good look at that guy. Ice maker, chest freezer. All of your uh, temperature settings are right here. You're not crawling under there in the freezer looking for them. Or... So very, very nice refrigerator. Not, not a dent or a scratch on her. They took really good care of this coach. We have our induction cooktop with our cutting boards under our counter extenders. This is portable, pops out. You can plug it in outside if you want to cook outside. And again, another nice big window for the kitchen. So you can keep an eye on what's going on in your campsite. Residential Samsung convection microwave. Plenty of space in there to bake, cook, microwave, zap some popcorn. This does not open, but this does. And you have little extra drawers in these guys and a counter, a corner cabinet there. Big designer, kind of a undermount, big kind of designer sink there. Do have a spray nozzle. And again, all brush, brush nickel. Drawers here. Again, soft clothes, and soft clothes is nice. It's not only a nice way to shut your drawers, but it also keeps them kind of tight to the to the styles there, so it's not gonna rattle going down the road. And we do have our dishwasher right there. I don't think there's a feature on this coach it doesn't have. It's just really nicely fully loaded. Over here, we have our silver leaf. This is gonna control the floor heat, your AC power, your generator, your water, your climate. Um, that's there and this is gonna control, this is a good look at these guys. So you can go into your shades, your fans, you can look at your power there, your gray tanks, um, your TV lift up and down. Let's go ahead and lift that up while we're here. And, oh. There it goes. I double tap that one. Window awnings, um, we have those out. Let's go ahead and put those back in. 
Those are those really nice lit awnings that were covering the windows. That a little bit more light in, as you'll see. But just really easy functional systems on this guy. Um, and we'll kind of show you the. It's really nice about the new air. I haven't seen this on any other coach, but this got a nice curio cabinet here. Glass shelves, but they're they're in there. They're not going to move. They're not going to make noise. A little extra storage there. They actually upgraded to a 38 footer, and they think that they had more store. I mean, they they said that, that this little guy had more storage put stuff than their 38 footer they'd upgraded to. So just know there's plenty of places to put stuff. Got another little trash can holder there. This comfortable couch. What's that? Pantry. Oh, pantry. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. Most most important parts of the whole coach. Thanks for reminding me. And it is a lit pantry too, and these can be adjusted if you have different items you want to put in there. Get you a look at that guy. It's real deep if you get a shot of that guy. And another little vent right underneath there. Here's where you put your hose attachments there for your vacuum. Got the te televator up. Sit there, put your feet up on the ottomans, watch TV. Got some storage there. Another Bose sound bar here. And this would be where you put your audio video. And you have a little tablet holder if you want one on for the passenger side over there. See. This uh does double leaf out, and those two chairs I showed you in the back go here, make it a nice four top if you're entertaining some people. Again, really nice solid surface countertops. We have also a place if you are traveling with the guest. We've got this bed here. Which pops right out. And it folds right there. Well, Tri-fold, real easy to use. It is memory foam there. Absolutely comfortable. All of a queen size there. Nothing you have to pump up or no straps, no locks. It's a real easy bed to use. As you, if you watch our videos, you know we fight these every so often. Oops. So, one of my favorite style of Newmar beds. And we also have storage over that couch. Not, it's not very deep, but it's you can put longer items up here. So. There is that. And coming up to the cockpit, you'll see we have a little storage up here and there. Beautiful cabinets. Nice grain coming through that white mink rift. This is also supplied with a traveler. It's for a dish, a dish system. Um, you set up, push power, thing comes up. Put little Wally receivers, get a dish account, and you've got satellite wherever you're at. Here's our kind of main control panel. This is our digital over the air antenna. You turn this on, and it searches for all the channels it can get, finds the channels, and it can supply over the air digital TV. These are the awnings outside. Let's go ahead and close those. Um, and then we have Entry step on off, you can turn that, leave it out or leave it in. If you don't want it running every time you're opening the door. Um, you have exterior LED lights that shine from the bottom of the slides to give you a nice ambient look out there. The old customer said they use that all the time. Wi-Fi router on off. These are the slides that we just opened. We have a door awning over this entry here. So if you want to get to your storage and it's raining, you can get there. Get, a nice transition underneath the other awnings to get under there and get stuff out. We have privacy drapes here. You can see them coming down. That's going to just be more for the this area here. The rest of them are on those panels. Um, and we have driver security lights here. So if you feel something bumping in the night, you can turn those on and it'll shine some bright light outside and let people know that you know they're out there. We also have storage right here. 
little electrical there. These are your awning controllers for the big awnings outside. This is a nice panel. What I like about this panel is I can walk in, turn all the lights off. As you see, the coach isn't lit, or I can just hit all the lights on. It's really nice when you first get to your campsite. You want to set everything up, get everything opened up. You don't want to run through it and open different or turn different lights on. Just hit that there. Um, every light on the coach is on, and you still have all your same functions all the way up and down that. The systems, the shades, like the stuff we looked over there. Uh, do you have a phone charger on this side? We have our passenger HVAC. And you'll notice there's a 110 over here, but there's also USBs in there for the, for the passenger. Real comfortable seat, captain's chairs there. This is where the, the iPad holder goes. And you'll also notice that you have, this, these chairs turn around. When they do, you also have on both seats these uh, recliner features there. As you get up in the food chain of diesel pushers, you get a couple things. You get, you get bigger motor, bigger horsepower. This has got plenty of motor like we talked about earlier, but you also get these big screens. And with these screens, we have, let's see if I can, we have 360 here. So it's a little distorted because the slides are out. We have a rear look if we're towing a Jeep, but also if we're in a truck stop or a real tight campground, we can actually see around our coach. You have four cameras around all the top of this coach. They all stitch together digitally, and it's almost like a drone's flying over you. So these coaches don't really get in a whole lot of scrapes on the highway, but they do bump into the poles that protect gas pumps, um, the rocks that border of campsites. You shouldn't have that problem with this new air. Uh, you should always know what's around you as you're going through. We have some more visor buttons, courtesy lights. We have an air horn on and off. There's two different horns. That's the air horn and that's the regular horn. Probably scared our camera guy in there <laughs> or our film guy in there. Entry lock, you can lock that, unlock it. We do have the generator running. This is the front heat from the Oasis. Uh, that's some, some fans. You can go high, medium, low to get some circulation around this really hot windshield sometimes. Dock lights, and then we have more shades as you see right here. Day and night shades up there. These are our overhead fans. Again, we have our HVAC, same as the one over there. And I will show you the digital display. It is a Numar, it's gonna have comfort drive. Total digital display, again, 19,526 miles. Um, the way that the old driver had it set up, he always knew where his RPMs were. Uh, we have our, know where our airbags that we're riding on always are. Um, we also have mobile eye up there. That's gonna keep your your adaptive cruise. It's gonna give you, keep you in the lanes. It's gonna warn you if you're drifting over there or not. This coach is also supplied with the phone charger there. These are your headlights. And we have our computer. And we can go into Comfort Drive. There's Road Watch. There's Steering Effort. So the Steering Effort's a Comfort Drive. We can go up and down. If we're on the highway and we got a little bit of a side wind and we can fill in it in our steering wheel, we can uh, lessen the steering effort. And it's going to take that out. If we want to go down a curvy road and want a little bit tighter steering, um, you can add more steering effort to it. We do have our phone here. Our, we have you know audio and stuff here, cruise control. Uh, we also have a navigation on this coach. Keep in mind the navigation knows how big this coach is and it's gonna keep you away from the small bridges and stuff you're gonna get stuck under. So um, very cool there. Uh, we have a battery boost button. If you were to run the house batteries down or the chassis batteries, you needed to start the Generator, you can always boost it with the other side. We have fog lights on this coach. And we also have one button push leveling here. That's uh, real nice, you get to set up, hit the auto level, it's gonna put this right where it needs to be for keep you level. These are your mirrors and we do have heated mirrors here. And we have a nice toll window there. So that's a look at the 3545. 
I'll go over some specs with you. Where's my, uh, oh, there it is. Again, 22, 2022, new Mar Newware. It's a 3545 with 19,500 and change miles on it. 8.9 Cummins, 450 horse, 1250 pound feet of torque. It's on the Freightliner XC chassis with an Allison six speed transmission with overdrive. The dry weight on this whole coach is 33,000 pounds. Um, payload on it is 5,600 pounds. We have 90 gallons of fuel, 105 gallons of fresh water, 60 gallons of gray water, 40 gallons of black. The overall length is 35 foot 10 inches. We have an eight foot six inch width and the height is 12 foot three inches. Again, about nine inches shorter than the, the average coach. The entire height in here is six foot 11 inches, plenty of headroom. That's because they do that special kind of subfloor. Same with the King Airs. Um, my name is Dean Jones. If you have any questions about this coach, I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, you can text me or call me at 720-347-7063, or you can uh, give me an email at dean.jones at transwest.com. It's a beautiful coach, beautiful opportunity. Um, and uh, if, on the way out, if you can hit the like, share, subscribe button, um, let it, we'll let you know when we go live and we'll see you next Wednesday.